Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Advertising and Sales Promotion. My name is RJ Thompson. I am the professor for this course. Uh, I'm really excited to teach this class and get to know each of you and hope that um, we can have a really great experience together throughout the semester. Um, a little bit about me, uh, aside from teaching this course in CBA, I am actually the Director of Digital Marketing in the CATS Graduate School of Business. So if you have any CATS questions, MBA questions, I am certain I can help you out with that or relay you on to someone that can be of help. Um, especially regarding graduate schools. But uh, nevertheless, um, let's talk about a few different things. Now, I'm going to keep this this call fairly brief, uh, this recording fairly brief. I'm literally talking to myself right now. No one else is on the Zoom call. Am I crazy? Maybe. Anyway, um, a few simple basic things to cover uh, this week. So it's the first week back. This is an online course. Um, you need to take a look at a few things that we'll also go over in our live lectures. But the first thing of which is take a look at the course shell, take a look at everything that is on there. And when I say everything, I mean the syllabus, the, the assignments, the uh, different quizzes and, and reading assignments and things like that. Um, take a comprehensive overview of the class and then dive into the syllabus. Take a look at the syllabus, line up any questions you may have, um, and prepare those for our live lecture discussions, which take place Tuesday, Thursdays from 2 p.m. to 3.15 on my Zoom channel, which is located in the syllabus. That is my direct Zoom link. So um, should you ever have any questions, you can shoot me a text or an email and say, hey, I'm on Zoom. Can we talk about something? And I will be there. Uh, because I am a PIT employee um, and I'm also teaching this class, I'm pretty much on the grid all the time. So please keep that in mind. But I do have some uh, times when I'm unavailable. Uh, but being in this online environment is really fortuitous for creating conversations and connecting and trying to extend your experience in this class beyond the finite time that we have during the live lectures. So take a look at the syllabus. Uh, there is no book for this class, um, so you're welcome. Uh, save that money and uh, go spend it on uh, some delicious food or, or something like that. Um, there's no book. Um, there is a, a particular focus on interactivity in this class. So um, for me, I thrive off of your engagement. If we were in a brick and mortar classroom, you would feel that energy in the room. But since we're not, um, I do need you to participate and engage and have opinions and feel safe in, um, in in sharing those opinions and those ideas. Um, the better the in interaction, the better engagement, the better the class will be. There are a few things related to interactivity that I did wanna cover. So in this course, um, there are a few big projects. You have a, a writing exercise, you'll have a midterm, you'll have a final, um, but then you'll also have a group project which will ultimately culminate in a presentation to a real client. Um, but there are two other things that I really wanted to focus on for the time being, and the first of which is um, there are assignments twice a week, or actually once a week, called Video Ask. Video Ask is a, essentially a call and response service. So you listen to the prompt, which is based on a commercial or some reading, that I want you to review, and then you queue up the video ask prompt, and then you just use your camera and answer. Uh, it is preferable for me that you are on camera and you are articulating yourself within the finite amount of time that I've allotted for these responses. It's about a minute. Um, if there are circumstances where you don't feel comfortable using your camera, uh, please reach out to me and we can discuss that. Uh, the there are multiple initiatives here with Video Ask that I'm trying to um, cue you up for. 
if if you want to have a career in marketing, you have to be confident in public speaking. You have to be willing to express yourself clearly, articulately, um, and do so in a very concise manner. When it comes to business communications, you must be concise, which is why I've kept it at a minute long. So um, please have fun with these video ask prompts though. Um, they're cool, they're fun, you get to watch a commercial and uh, just tell me what you think. Based, usually there's two questions uh, for the response. So take a look at those and then also do the introduce yourself uh, prompt, which I believe is in the uh, assignments or modules section. I don't have my, my uh, browser up at the moment, so I apologize, but you'll find it. Uh, do the introduction, tell me a little bit about yourself. The directions are there, it's very, you know, uh, low key, very introductory, have some fun with it. Uh, the other piece to the course that I want to focus on are the quizzes. You'll have quizzes twice a week uh, following each lecture. Uh, both quizzes are due at the 11.59 p.m. Sunday night. Uh, the quizzes are worth five points each and range anywhere from one to five questions. So that could be one question that's five points. That could be five questions that are one point each. Um, the purpose of the quizzes is, is to keep you engaged in the class, but to not uh, make your engagement prolonged and um, exasperating, okay, or daunting. I know a lot of you have things going on, and uh, I want to have a fun class, a great class, a memorable experience, because ultimately, after you graduate, what you will remember most not the quizzes, not the tests. You're gonna remember the lectures. You're gonna remember the overall experience that you had and maybe the group project, uh, especially for the, the real client that, that we'll have this semester. But generally the quizzes are pretty low key. You just gotta do the work. Um, I've done my best to make this class as accessible to you uh, from a content delivery point of view, meaning I'm trying to put up all the content for the entire semester within a short amount of time. So ideally by the middle of next month, we'll have all of the content released for the entirety of the semester. This means that you can work ahead, work smarter, not harder. If the content is available, take advantage of it. Enhance your own experience in this class uh, by taking advantage of it and its availability. Um, so there's, you know, that, that's really important to me that you have access to all the course content. We don't know what's gonna happen with COVID. Hopefully, um, you know, everyone is safe and things go away over time and this just becomes a seasonal thing, but I'm trying to account for the unknown as much as possible. The other thing that I'm really interested in is serving you where you live. So a lot of this class, as much as I can make it, should ideally be able to be done exclusively on your phone. Um, there may be some variations to that, but that's the goal. I want to be able to use, to use this class and have you do it all on your phone where possible. Um, this includes the video ask prompts, the quizzes, discussion boards, and other types of smaller assignments. Uh, the group discussion, the writing project, yeah, not as easily done, but for the general upkeep and maintenance and operations of the class, you could probably do all of this on your phone. So please keep that in mind as well. Um, also, if you're on LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, please follow me. I will be making videos on TikTok for uh, for you to, to watch and others, and I'll likely embarrass myself uh, because I just... I'm just not, I don't have the TikTok personality necessarily, um, but I do want to drop anecdotes and useful things on TikTok as well as YouTube. And if, if you want, please follow me on Twitter. I do a lot of my work there as well as on LinkedIn. I practically live on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter, um, as well as, you know, the, the course shell. So uh, please follow me on there. My information is in the modules um, and the syllabus. Every week, I, I have the entire, every single week broken out. So the calendar's fixed. Um, the, the projects are done or they're listed. 
the other resources and content are listed to. One of those in particular is a podcast that I run called Talks with Thompson, and it's specifically about uh, conversations with active professional marketers and how they got their start in the field. So I know some of you have already had internships. You're thinking about what your next steps are after graduation. I've recorded 50 of these podcasts. I've only released, I've only put 15 on the course shell, but if you find the YouTube link, which you will, it's in the social channels uh, and talks with Thompson modules in the course shell. Um, please consider watching all of them. I interview marketers, professors, designers, communications people across a variety of sectors. And I hope it is a, a real useful tool for you. So again, take a look at everything. Let me know if you have questions. Log on to my Zoom link at two o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We will generally end around three, 15 minutes for questions uh, at the end of each session. And we'll go from there. Otherwise, uh, just I want you to have a good semester. Um, I want you to approach this class with total positivity, curiosity, and ambition. Um, I'm going to leave you with a lot of material and, and things to think about. And I want to engage in those conversations with you and try to give you as much direction as I can for the next step in your career, be it an internship or a full-time position. So lots of, thing, lots of things to keep in mind and um, all over. So let's have a good semester. I'll see you on Tuesdays and Thursdays, two o'clock to 3.15 on my Zoom link, and we'll go from there. So take care, everyone. Enjoy your first week, and we'll see you in class.